Hello and welcome to Kate and Kat's podcast. We run our podcast a little differently than most. Our podcasts are completely spirit-led and we never know who we're going to have on or what's going to come up to heal. Every episode is a new adventure where we walk people through healing anything from spirit guides to past lives to inner child work, how the energies and trauma affects the mechanical workings of our physical bodies, and exploring time, space, and dimensions and how it's all happening now. This podcast is for beginners and experts alike. This can be considered explicit content to some, as we do not edit ourselves. And sometimes deep trauma work comes up unexpectedly. And also we cuss like sailors. On this episode of Kate and Cat Live, we're joined with Gina Do It With Purpose. This podcast, this episode, probably one of the most confusing. It's a wild ride. Don't believe me? Listen for yourself. That's all I gotta say. Just listen for yourself. Without further ado, if you love bad bitches, and that's your fucking problem, on with the podcast. Hey. Hey. Okay. Hi. 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 Let's go now. Gina. Gina, your hair's getting so long. I know. It looks good, too, girl. Mm. Not being in this long. I usually get fresh when they're about here. And yeah. Now they're, like, down to here. Yeah, mm. super long for you. You know, the key was, they say that you can tell if a lady's old if she parts her hair on the side. And so if you part in the middle, because, you know, cat, you're all good. That... It stays out of my eyes better. And so when I started parting in the middle, I was like, I can grow these suckers out. <laughs> I just sat down on the chair one day and I was like, I don't know, do whatever the fuck you want. And they parted, they're like, which side did your hair part in? I was like, it'll listen. Just do it where it goes. Kate's like, what are you talking about, trend? And, uh, yeah. uh... It's from, it was really big around last year that if you, do you remember it? Something about, uh, like, if you part your hair down the middle, it just looks better. So I saw a bunch of people, like, parting their hair down the middle, and I was like, that's a lie. All the Gen X <laughs> were, like, parting their hair on the side, and so they were just saying we were all old, because I'm Gen X. It was just about, yeah, being old. Yeah. It's um, not anything that we actually care about. But, I mean, honestly, uh, like, like, it goes where it wants to, but yeah. when I started doing this, my veins were able to go out, so that's all that mattered. Uh. This is Carly said my hair just parted ways with my scalp. Makes amazing shower art. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I have yeah. this piece okay. right here. Is this long? And this is when we went into quarantine. It goes like just past my nose. Uh, all my head, all all my hair shed when I went through that rebirth. And this piece, that's like from the beginning of quarantine, right here. Is this little piece right here? Is this out of my nose? Just let it share. Mark's time is connected to Ben's part of the hair, whichever that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He's been, yeah. He's is there anything in like... particular that you wanted to work on? <clears throat> I mean, from like an overall perspective, um, I feel like that things are going well for me personally, but I'm still not able to get online. Still have this blockade. So coming on this live, I was like, "Yes, we're gonna use this to just get me going." And this fear that I have of being seen, being seen who I am now, who I really am in this small town I live in, and all that, like that, that fear, like this, this kind of. And I've been working on it. I've been my spirit guides have been working on it with me working on it but yeah that would be probably the best part. when you're talking about it my left fingers are going numb uh the ring the middle and the pointer on the left side down here on my, my side gina can you turn your volume up by chance yeah i'm gonna put my earbud on i had it on the other the computer but i couldn't get online What's okay your oh. Mm-hmm. Kushkilla set like 20 something roses and they're like, hey, bye. Hey, bye. 
Okay, Gina, what kind of, like, when you say that you... First, when you said, I am ready to be visible, I was like, I thought... I thought you were ready to be visible. I thought that was like you rebranded, you did the things, but it's still out in your neighborhood, huh? It's still like on a like human level, right? Absolutely. So what? Talk, okay, talk about you guys what hear me? Yeah, it, okay. we can hear you fine. Just go ahead. Okay. So from like my mom, you know, there's a lot of trauma around my mom, my emotions, all that. But she always worried about image. Like, it didn't matter what was going on in our world. If we weren't, like, perceived as the perfect family, it was detrimental. Like, oh, what will they say? Oh, what will they say? Like, that's what we always heard growing up. And if friends were over at the house, it was like, oh, the inherent, perfect family. But um, me being, like, because this is the Bible Belt and me not being with that community fit or whatever, like this, the, the things that we know, the things that we do, most people can't comprehend anyway. But in this small town area, it would be viewed as, you know, evil witchcraft kind of stuff. And it's that fear that I just have. And, and it, it's not that I'm ashamed of who I am and what I know. It's just this community, there's something fearful that, that is holding me back. And it's ego, it's human ego no. kind of stuff. Gina, that automatically takes me to where were you persecuted in a past life? I know that's a cliche go-to thing, but where were you persecuted in a past life? And I mean, you know, from like doing healing work there, like I've, I've done tons and that's why I feel like it's tied to this life, but it still could be tied to a past. I don't know. Like there, you know, there's layers. There's so many layers. There's oh, not nice. Please yeah, take us back yeah. to the most impactful point that we can heal about this. Here we go. Oh. West Virginia, man, mama. I got a pain in my left ear whenever you said that. Was it from me singing? No, I'm just kidding. Um. I'm getting very like now my head hurts and it didn't and now well, you said uh, mountain mama yeah and of course you know you think that might be Gina but I think if she had a pain in her left ear that's her mom and a deer just showed up a deer just showed up sorry what's that, like, what's that thing I wasn't expecting for those of you listening at home, Kate is <laughs> surprised that it was a deer <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. okay um this seems very like making my forehead itch like crazy um gina you're in kentucky right or tennessee west virginia you are in west virginia mm -hmm. oh i don't know why i was thinking like kentucky okay uh this seems very like are there swamps in west virginia mm -mm. There's like river banks, like we have, you know, rivers and creeks that run through, but sometimes Are they it's green? a little swampy around them, but it's not really a swamp swamp. Are they green? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, this she, seems... She's a Louisiana kind of gal, so I think if she sees any kind of swamp, she's like, yeah, swamp. Swamp. All right, guys, we got a swamp. This is in West Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's green water, and so... I don't know why it's zooming me in and out of this, but I guess this is like a riverbank your family lived on. I'm not sure. I'm just. Yeah, I mean, there's a river that runs through our county that runs like the only river in the eastern half of the United States that flows north and it flows uh, into the Ohio. I was talking about this past the, life. Where is the movie Fried Green Tomatoes? Like, where is its location? It's more south, south. Is that like um, Georgia or. Alabama. It's, I know it's more south. Because I keep hearing a train. Well, we have a track that runs right beside the river. Coal trains, you know, throughout history have used the, the railroad to drive coal from the coal it's mines around here. real loud. Why would they be making such a loud 
like what's the what is the purpose with trains of like making the the toot? So we oh, have is, coal. We have coal, coal trains in Louisiana, and that's any to pass through a town. Any or any crossing, they're at a crossing. They have to because not all crossings have the guards right out in the country, so they do the whistle. So, I'm it's real loud. I cannot stop hearing it. It's like really, really, really fucking loud, and like it won't stop. So, so I mean, and my mom did live right next to a coal tipple at one time, and so the train would come through, and then the tipple is this big tower that the coal comes down and loads into the top of the the, the open top train beds, and um, so you know there was a crossing, and I'm sure the whistle blew there like all the time, but it made the whistle lighten, like lessen when you started talking about it. But, you know, the, but, but, it, but the whistle, like having a train whistle, like it's all, everybody's really comfortable around train whistles around here. We hear them so much. I can even hear them at my house, but I don't live close to the river or the train track now, but it comes up through What the are you channeling? Through. What are you feeling out? Oh, it's, Gina. Uh, it's, it's, wait, Gina or me? Gina. She's twirling oh. the channeling part of the ear, like right here. You know, so I don't tune into the frequency. This. I don't ever do this. I didn't even notice I was doing it. But, you know, like, my mom was young when she lived there. Maybe she did this. This is young. This is before you were born. So ask who you are in this. I just had a wave of, like, yuck. Like, yuck the only way I can describe it. I'm my grandmother, my mom's mom. Okay. Who also grew up around train tracks and coal mines. All right, to, to fact check that, go ahead and merge in with her, see if you can. Please merge me with that version. You're merging. But say your grandma so we can fact check it a bit. Please merge me with this version of my nanny, Mary. Yeah, it's going in stronger. So, um, I'm getting that this was her flirting with the boys. Oh, that? Like her being coy. Uh huh. Can you say, uh, Spirit, if it's in my high school, I'm just going to do it the long way. So that anybody listening along can like follow along. God, it makes me like scratch my neck like this. Uh, can you say spirit if it's in my highest good? Spirit if it's in my highest good. Please apply my house cleanse. Please apply my house cleanse. To this version of me. To this version of me. And as far as I'm allowed. And as far as I'm allowed. I mean, my stomach loosened up a little bit. It was real tight. Now his back is tight. <coughs> Spirit, I to please apply my house cleanse again to, to rid whatever this is. It's rid black lung. Stall fragments. Spirit, it's nice to mm. please activate all of the tuberculosis that we have for this. Spirit, it's nice it could be black lung growing up beside coal mines. Or have one this day. Is it leaving, Cat? My heart's beating really fast, and I'm really, really sad. Well, I know a lot of people die down there from but suffocation. That was a different kind of, um, you know how, like, some of you know by now, most of you know by now that when I, you know, start transmuting this stuff, I start feeling like I'm going to throw up. I could not get that, uh, the wrench, you know, that, like, gut throw up kind of feeling it was all in the chest it was stuck um really loud it you know when you have a cough 
I wanted to say it like Forrest Gump, a cough due to cold. When you have that and it, you cannot cough, you cannot cough it up, that's what that felt like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it did the tuberculosis healing. That was pretty common then, too. Mm-hmm. <coughs> it's like, it won't go deep enough. It won't go deep enough. It won't. Do you, look, you remember um, that big wolf healing we did? The big wolf healing whenever we yeah. blow stuff out of you? Spirit, if it's in my highest good, please apply my big wolf healing so that I can pull this out of pets. Well, whoever I am standing oh, in for. Yeah, whoever cat standing in for. It's pulling stuff, but it's pulling from the back, too. Well, I'm picturing your back. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Release and return soul fragments related to this. Wrap them in love, life, forgiveness, and divine justice. And return them to the right owners. I mean, I was picturing like golf, like I was just grabbing and pulling. <clears throat> uh, Spirit is in the highest good and also with consent. Please apply all of my lung healings, COVID healings, or the like, conducive to what is needed to all of this. Okay, you specifically got tuberculosis, Kate. I know it was common back then, but you got it for a reason. Of course, you knew that. But, like, why? What was going on? Um, so, like, especially in the coal mines, I know it's called, like, the black lung, and that was for, like, coal miners and stuff like that. But also, too, it would cover up tuberculosis, and then it would just, like, they slowly called it something kill. Else, though, didn't they? they called it, um... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I mean, name for it. Two volcanic. Yes, it is. It is green. It's like a greenish yellow. When I went to heal it in somebody, the COVID. When I went to heal at the beginning of the outbreak of it, um, when I sprayed it, it was like a yellowish green, and then it turned into like a rock candy looking stuff, and then I had to melt it and vaporize it through the lungs. So yeah, pump green like here when they're. Pre- she said when they're pregnant. Oh, I didn't see the first one. And they're pumping. So, I mean, from, you know, living in coal camps at the time, that's where my grandmother was when she was younger. Nanny, I called her Nanny, where Nanny lived. Um, I mean, yeah, there was, and it, you know, there was a company doctor, coal company doctor that would treat them, but it was very minimal treatment. Yeah, the consumption word, somebody else mentioned that, and that's the word, consumption, what they called that. Tuberculosis can, we back copy in the day. And, can we copy and paste all that to the residual? I'm going to do mine, you guys do yours. What would, okay, I get that it hurt the lungs and stuff. What does it do to the head? I'm sure it's very common. I cannot think of it. I don't know what's happening. It's, um, like, I feel like the hair, I don't, I don't, it's like, it feels like charcoal in the head. It feels like carbon, tons of carbon. My hair feels like straw. Well, yeah, I want to say it would deposit, make deposits on the brain, if I remember correctly. But, I mean, okay. coal dust is everywhere, like when you're ne- living near coal mines. Right. Well, we took care of the lungs. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, it coats your hair, it coats your clothes, it coats everything. Yeah. But, I, you know, my grandmother still, like, was still just, like, flirting with all the guys, like, headed to the coal mines, I guess. I don't know. But she was, to me, that's what I was getting. And that yuck. Like, I felt yuck. But, to, but it could have been... Um, you know, maybe what she was seeing, maybe what she was feeling looking at the, the people that were suffering from that. I don't know, but I just felt yuck. And then it released whenever we did the house cleanse because my stomach was like all balled up from that. And then it just like go. So she did get pregnant with my mom when she was a teenager. And my mom was born, you know, without a father, which was really taboo in those days. Well, then she would be flirting with all the men. Your mom would be flirting with all the men. I know that um, when I was a single mom, whenever I went anywhere where there was any guys, my kids just naturally wanted to hang out with just strange adult You're right. men. You're right. Yep. Yep. Just needed male attention. And I was Absolutely. like, cool, that's creepy and dangerous. Come with me. And they just like gravitate to the men. They just would. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, and it, I mean, at one point in time, I, my my nanny even left her with her parents and went off to Maine with her husband, who was in the military at that time, and left my mom behind. And so, mom was at the call camp then as a little girl. But but I think all that was, you know, the trauma that led to her as an adult still concerned about what everybody thought and that she had her shit together even if she didn't have her shit together. Dana, Dana uh, this is the second time they mentioned quote unquote gossip train mm -hmm. is what they, mm -hmm. they kept getting. Makes sense. Okay, so if we looked at the most impactful point <coughs> that we could heal concerning um, this fear or like, you know, fear of being out and about or out publicly with whatever in your hometown, in a small town. Um, I thought it was a past life. You got current life. It looks like it's a mix of both. Mm -hmm. Definitely, of course, yeah, we had to clear the lungs, but I don't know why that's super important. Like, other than you and me and Kate are in the same town sometimes at different locations, like, at different times. Like, maybe I'm I mean, someone it, it there. I mean, that, you know, the lungs power the voice, and it's my voice that I'm trying to find. I mean, you know, like, I don't know. I'm just... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, Kate's awfully quiet, and she's looking at something. I, I can't tune into this. Up. Yeah, it, like whenever I talk, it gets like interrupted. So I'm like, I guess I'm not supposed to talk in this one. I don't know. So I just keep like, oh, that's cool. like I don't know how to, uh, I don't know what to do in that. So I just, I don't know. I just sit here and watch. <laughs> I'm like, oh, maybe it's like a channel thing. Like maybe it's supposed to be. Yes. No. Everybody's like sitting there looking at me now, as yeah. if I'm crazy. No, it's not that you're crazy. Um, that's got to be connected somewhere. I know you've felt that before, but um, I think we just talk, like we talk over each other. We just do. Gina yeah. and I have been. Yeah. Okay. Um. So in this past life, um, the train you kept mentioning the train. She keeps mentioning the gossip train, and then I keep getting the songs. Uh, I wish that I could be like the cool kids, but the cool kids, be like the cool kids. So it just makes me go. Uh, there was a lot of probably like missing out too, and yeah, you already said something about finding your own voice. So how far after this were you born? Um, my grandmother was 38 when I was born, and she was 17 when my mom was born. Um, she even used to say, like, because my mom moved to Chicago at one time where she lived, she had gotten a job there by the end, and she would babysit me, and everybody thought I was her kid because she was only 38, looked really young, with this, with this toddler running around. Your grandmother? Mm-hmm. Okay. While my mom went to, to work, dad, dad had gotten out of the Air Force, so they moved to Chicago where she was. But from a, like, definitely, like, my grandmother and my mom both missed out on life because of her having my mom young. And then my mom was embarrassed about it. She was embarrassed about being a bastard child in this, you know, small town in 19, she was born in 1949. So, you know, through the 50s and 60s, she lived with everybody knowing she didn't have a daddy. And that's not t totally true. Everybody knew who her dad was. He was he was part of a very prominent family in this county, like judge of the county kind of family. Mm -hmm. And so, but they wouldn't claim her. And so she was ashamed of who she was because they wouldn't claim her. Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, were you in the coal mine? No, never worked in that. And my dad did for a little bit but not even like for a whole career. But um, I mean, his dad did his whole life. And a lot of people I know, like this whole community is a cold community. Hmm. 
That's weird. I don't know um, what this. There's books everywhere. You know, know when I was younger, books. I used to always like not care what people thought. Like I was one of those that would say, you know, let's give them something to talk about. Even before Melissa Etheridge came out with that song, you know, from a small town's got to talk about somebody. I said, let them talk about me. I don't care. And it used to drive mom crazy. Because, I mean, as a teenager, I rebelled. I wanted to go out with friends and do things. And she says, what are people going to think? And I'm like, I don't care what people think. I'm going to live my life. And so something changed from that me. I don't know if it was having kids and kind of that responsibility of life and whatever. Um, mm-hmm. But I want to get back to that carefree person. That person that just, like, people are going to say, people are going to talk. Like, I don't care. And I just can't get myself there. What Kat said she felt hooks in her. Is that from her mom, Kat? I don't know who I am in this. I don't know who I'm standing in for, who I'm feeling. I know that the more uh, Gina talks about it, the more it pulls. It's pulling me down, and it hurts a fuck ton. Um, they're all lined up on my back. Um, but this. So are you her action, mom? Then? The action that I'm doing reminds me of course. You know the corsets snap together, but it's on the shoulder. Yeah. And I don't know if there is, like, was there a corset thing, like a shoulder kind of thing? Because it's across here. These and it's two are not, shoulder pads. Oh, it's okay. not fabric. It is hooked in. It is hooked in. But there's a fastener. It's like a, um, I don't know, um, like a latch, like a, like a latch fashion, fast, fast, fastener um, into the hook. Like, it's purposefully put, I don't fucking know. I don't know where this is, what this is. I don't know what this is. Um, are you her mom? Like Gina's mom? Maybe because Gina was doing the hair thing. It just makes me go to shoulder pads. I don't know if that's true. Like, I don't know if they would you hook in like that. shoulders, knees, and toes yesterday, Kate. I don't even remember that. You were singing it to Casey Ray, and I was like, that's a weird fucking song to be singing. <laughs> ah, is it here? Oh, I do remember that. Okay. I mean, the shoulder pads came in when I was in high school in the 80s. But yeah, everybody had monster shoulder pads in there. I remember my sisters had them. <laughs> now, this is like horsity stuff. This is like her, like eighteen hundred grandma's stuff. mom? Yeah, maybe eighteen hundreds. Hey, maybe eighteen hundreds. It's not just like it's like um I guess an over the shoulder boulder holder, but it's like this part's clamped and then underneath is the corset clamped. But it's inside the skin. Yeah, it's like eye hooks, but they're in the skin. It's more like a like like a torture device. No, I mean, like, societal feminine torture device, but, like, mm-hmm. other than that, I don't fucking know. Yeah, beauty is pain, right? Yeah. Fashionable for comfort. The grandmother's mother? I don't know, just keep getting, it's a long lineage of this. Where do you want to start? It's like, well, fuck, I don't know, the most oh. impactful point. Yeah. The most oh, impactful. maybe the earliest? Let's, uh, let's try the earliest point. Okay. It's great if it's in my high school, please. Take me to the most impactful point, the earliest possible point to help heal my fear. We're going somewhere else. And I don't know what the heck it is. My left ear is like pain. So maybe it is still my mom's lineage. Uh. It looks like traveling in the stars. It looks like that to me, too. It feels like that. Okay. As I'm getting dark, I'm not getting stars, but I'm getting dark. It's like a, a circle. And she's just spinning a circle, and it's really funny. Because, um, you know, that game where they're like, uh, you are not the intruder. And then, it like, your body's there, and it's like, I'm not who's, I'm not, okay, that. That it looks like that, except you're spinning in a circle, and it's really funny. I had a video like that like two years ago. Yes. My body was just spinning. It was like 
cat was not the imposter. Just... <laughs> so I'm just alone spinning. Here, what did you see about this? You should probably go on your mission. Is what I got. Uh, here, if it's in my highest this... good, please take me on my mission. Is this that one fucking movie that Ben had me watch with the time traveler guy in the space shell? What the fuck is that movie called, guys? Where he, he invents the like the the ability to time travel in that one little machine? No, not that one. Okay. Um, the one where uh. Inception? It's um, Somebody yeah, I, I think so. It's the one with the guy that's like, all right, all right, all right, whatever that yeah. is. Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, I think it's him. I think he's the main guy. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I have no idea. No, it's not Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Interstellar. It's interstellar. It's interstellar. That's it. Yeah. It's Interstellar, interstellar. Where it's like such an interesting movie, but really, you only need to watch the last thirty minutes, and you will be fine. <laughs> and it's like four hours long. Okay. Uh, ooh, what do we need to see? Oh. So you need to merge with that guy, Tina? If it's in my high school, please merge me with that interstellar guy. There you go. Ben's connected to that guy, too. Shocker. <laughs> The pain let up on my, my left. Yeah. Ear. And it made my neck pop. All your legs pop your neck like this. All right, so where am I going? What's my mission? Well, that's what I was trying to figure out because whenever you said, take me on my mission, it was like, okay, cool. And then he just kept spinning. <laughs> <laughs> but you've never seen the movie. Um, he, uh, spoiler alert, he like, um, is he 20 years space- old? Yes. <laughs> That's brown there. It's like in the 2000 something. He leaves his spaceship and he's like traveling just in the space suit. And then he goes into this <laughs> dimensional library. And he ends up looking through this dimensional library and seeing his daughter back on a time where it starts at the beginning of the movie where she's like talking to what she thinks is a ghost. She knows it has a consciousness. And he's her dad, or her, yeah, her dad being like, there's nobody fucking there. And it ends up being him in the bookshelf, because all that is now talking to her. And then it helps her save the world. Oh, there's dust in that movie, too. They have to leave the planet, because the dust is taking over. Interesting. Okay. Spirits and that's good. Please activate all of the dust particle removal healings to all this. I'm gonna send you some WD forty in the mail. Just so you know. I've already WD forty this. <laughs> oh, I should have known you would have. I don't know what it. He just looks very content now. Yeah, just chilling. Uh, do this, Gina. Can you say spirit if it's in my highest good? Spirit, if it's in my highest good. Please download. Please download. All the information I'm gathering from this mission. All the information I'm gathering from this mission. Into all parts and forms of me. Into all parts and forms of me. Throughout space and time. Throughout space and time. That need this. That need this. That's a lot. Hold on. Everything feels like it's like liquidy, like paper moving liquid, like photographs in water, developing photos. I was about to say that, developing photos. I used to do that with my mom. The smell is like eggs. But they're like, it's like. Uh, is this like memories? Yeah, because it's like people like this, like, you know, with their arms around each other and yeah. smiling. It reminds me of the pictures that would go in a photo frame. They're so, like, smiley. Can you download your memories, maybe, Tina? 
what I'm doing. Interesting. I'm downloading my memories. <laughs> you don't look like you're enjoying this. You're just like, well, I'm just wondering. So, um, developing photos reminds me of the dark room in junior high. You know, mm-hmm. we had junior high back in the day. And I spent a lot of time in the dark room with the photographer, the junior high newsletter. Uh-huh. I mean, I wasn't. Oh. He was. And I helped him to develop films and, or photos and things like, you know, that would go in the yearbook or the newsletters and, and all that. And then he also, I mean, he took, like, different types of photos of me, like, out in the, you know, nature, like, standing by Did you help organize them? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a lot of that. And at that time, in my, I mean, you know, I was young, but that was still my carefree years. Like, I didn't, I didn't care who knew I was in the dark room. You know, like I had a right to be there, but I didn't. But like I'm getting flashes of memories, not just from that, but you were talking about developing pictures. But then I started just getting flashes like all through my life, different photos were coming up. Do we need to like merge these together or put them in a chronological or balanced if I'm looking order or filing system or... Mm -hmm. It's I almost as if it's, it's doing not, this. It's a collage. Of um, everything. Like, we'll go back in time, and then it'll apply to the here. And we'll go back in time, and it'll apply to the here. And it mm-hmm. keeps, like... That's all time So it's not merged, because merge will make it go, like, like inside itself. Yeah. So what is that? That's what I'm wondering. Is it... W- woven? Is it woven? <sighs> no. That doesn't feel right, because it's not a string or basket. Folded. That's closer. Binded um, like a book. No. Sewn. I think. I think. I think at least if we just organize and put in balanced divine working order, that that should get it there, regardless of what word. Try it. Attach it to. I think so too. Think Try it. Is good. Please put all these memories into balanced divine order. Most heal of balance is on. Oh, it feels so fucking weird. I feel like I'm floating now. I feel like my spine is the spine of the book. But the pages are coming in like this into me and then this to the back. Just briefly zoom this out. I, I zoomed out with you. Okay. I didn't stay where I was. I don't fucking know. This definitely seems like the dark room, Gina. Let's do this. Let's do this. Spirit if it's in my high is good. Spirit if it's in my high is good. Please merge all versions of me. Please merge all versions of me. Into one. Into one. Apply my house cleanse. Apply my house cleanse. Uh, Apply the intense energy vampire cleanse. Apply the intense energy vampire cleanse. Calibrate me. Calibrate me. Return me to the correct dimensions. Return me to the correct dimensions. Close all window browser tabs. Close all window browser tabs. That should no longer be open. That should no longer be open. Close all dead timelines. Close all dead timelines. And if it's in the highest good, please merge all timelines and dimensions. And if it's in the highest good, please merge all timelines and dimensions. To their correct they're correct timeline and dimension timeline and dimension Headed block and my whole body yeah. feels like it's stretching out again yeah I, I, that, when i said i was floating it's what it kind of feels like just like everything's going out all right let's go i'm going to go into my middle space room and i'm going to use that organization spirit if it's in my highest good please take me to my mental space room I 
I got a lot of gunk in front of me. Spirit, please apply my house cleanse to my mental space room. Were you an ABBA fan in high school? Dad was. I track tape. I track tape. You hear an SOS, Kate? Yeah. I am too. What? And then sometimes it'll go to the, the cupcake version. Like occasionally it'll be like, oh, why don't you smack my ass? And then it'll. It's like there's a black fog or something. It's like all over my field. You know my field. Yeah. I can barely <coughs> see the house through it. <coughs> Apply what you did in the, Here, the, the um, town. Here, the page what we did to the call camp, I meant to space room. <coughs> okay. Here, apply my memories into the organization we set up in my middle space room. Anything I need to get rid of, get rid of. Anything I need to keep, keep. Anything not in my highest good, toss it the hell out. I feel like I'm picking at the corners. The corners of the photos? No, your mental space room. And then Cat's in some fucking closet. And I'm looking for this closet. Because it's like, if we find Cat, that means we've solved the mystery. <laughs> well, she might be in the house in the closet. So, I don't go into my house now in my mental space room. I stay out in the field. What? Cat might be in the house. I feel like I am the house. Why don't you go in your house? It felt confining, and so we redid it, and we set up the whole field as my space room. I like looking at the house. I just don't like going in it. Oh, I was going to say, why don't you take the walls down? I like the house. Ah. It looks yeah. a lot like the house I almost bought. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Except hers is gray. No, mine's blue. It's like that. Oh, yours is like, blue, too? Yeah, it's like that darker kind of a blue. like a Yeah. Like, almost like Superman blue. But darker. Yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, mine too. You had the red couch, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Can you find the red couch? Can you find a soft, comfy couch instead of being in a closet? Well, if she's the house, can you do your house cleanse to the house? Spirit, if it's in my house, good. Please do my house cleanse to my Mental space room house. Dooby dooby doo, where are you? <laughs> Beautiful Kang. Yeah, me and me and Kat sometimes we're like we're there, but we're not there. We're like in different um, dimensions, but we're the same. Body. I'm I am not in the same dimension you guys are in right now. I'm telling you right now, I don't know where the fuck I am. It. Just looks like a closet. It, there, I can see the four walls. I'm just not sure where you are. Uh, Spirit is nice to please take me to where Cat is. This is a blanket closet. Is this where we need to go? I don't know. Is, is there like fabric of time is kept? In a dusty ass blanket closet? Yeah, if it's like old timeline. There might even be some old yeah. picture albums, some old memories in that closet that I haven't tapped into. Oh, is this Gina's? Like time? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. It seems like something out of like, I don't know, one of your houses that you've lived in or something. Are you grabbing them out of the closet? This hurts like Fuck, man! What are you doing? I'm not grabbing anything. I'm. I. I feel like I'm looking in the closet at my father's. My father's mom's house because it was this big cedar closet where she kept the blankets, and I feel like I'm just looking at them. I hate this. I don't know what's going on, and I'm really uncomfortable. I'm sorry that I'm whiny. It's real bad because I don't know what the fuck is going on. 
Can Spirit you in the highest good? Please apply my house plans to this blanket closet. Put the cedar closet back to its balanced divine working order. Put this cedar closet back to balanced divine working order. Oh. Is this your version of Lion the Witch in the Wardrobe? I bet it is because we used to have all kinds of play in that closet. Like it was our like when we were at Mammals, that's what we did. We just played in that closet. Okay, well then, Kate, where are you? You're just looking? I'm looking up from the top. So I'm like, I gotta find Cat. And so I was like, take me to Cat. He was like, cool, here's Cat. <laughs> I was like, oh, a closet. I, let's fix this. Because that makes sense if I, if I'm, I felt like I was the house. You guys saw me in a closet. I'm part of a wardrobe because I would be part of a portal. So it was all built in. Yeah, it was. The, and when you were like, yeah. like looking through it or whatever, I felt you going like this inside my body. I hated it. Why so don't we hear what? So again, we went time travel and we went back to this life. But I'm getting the SOS ABBA song too. <clears throat> I'm not getting the mix that Kate is, but I'm still getting the SOS sound song. This is trippy, guys. Like, I don't know mm. if anybody's going to be able to follow along with this. Just saying, if you're lost, I would not be surprised. It's very convoluted because it's not, it's like everything keeps getting merged into one. Well, we haven't worked together forever either. And you so I feel like it's like, here's yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, and, but like, I've been doing these feelings. I've been asking for impactful points. And, and it keeps bringing me back to my mom, like, every time. And I'm like, uh, well, it's not at your mom anymore. anymore. No, Gina, it's no, not. This, no, this, but it's still my lifetime with my mom. So, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. My elbows hurt now. And that's flexibility. Do I need to merge in with this fucking, I don't want to merge in with a closet in your mental space room. Please take me to the source of the SOS song. going somewhere and I'm going with you. How close were you with your dad? I'm dad's girl. Okay. Uh, this is very much like a, a bring bring it back now. Like you singing know, you a song. Huh? Out, of, out of all the people in my life, I mean Mike, my husband for sure, but my dad is hanging right in there with me as I'm sharing with him my discoveries, my new knowledge. Dad's right there with me, so oh, he's, so, always, okay. he's on this journey with me. He is. So okay. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. Besides Mike, my dad is also right there with me. I feel like you okay. and I have, well, no, Kate doesn't have that issue, I don't think. I think you and I have an opposite issue, Gina. Like, I'm able to tell the world everything and be, you know, whatever, but my close family, they just don't, they just don't get it, and they're supportive, but it's like pat me on the head supportive. Mm -hmm. But it feels like you have that really connective mm -hmm. family thing. Yeah, I have it now. But I, yeah, Kate, do you have? I don't think Kate cares. To be quite honest, and then, you know my and my spirit guides. I mean, I know that um, I've got a lot of Williamson. That's my maiden name. I've got a lot of Williamson grandfathers on my team too like a lot of grandfathers and so, i think he was just trying um, to pull you out of this whatever this is because like whenever i was like please take me to source this music it was like your dad holding out his hand mm. so it's like i don't know if we're going in a loop uh spirit of nice could please activate casey ray's roundabout healing to this spirit of nice could please activate cat and kate's cul-de-sac healing to this uh, cat's spinning. detangling of roots healing to this. Mm -hmm. uh, please put our clipboards back to their balanced divine working order. Uh, Gina's team and spirit guides, I'm going to need y'all to like in order or something. I don't like, there's no merry-go-round here. Uh, they're like, okay, we will get off the merry-go-round. Okay. Oh, Gina and I are some, um, I don't want to, I, it's Des I-R-E-B. 
or E D B T C. So that Gina and I might be connected. We are. So much so that when I first started working with her, I was like, I don't know how to say this. I don't want everything to be connected to me, but damn it, there's another connection. Like that's weird. Yeah. Because I'm part of this. I'm part of this too. <laughs> yep. I remember that being a point in time. <laughs> you didn't go believe me? <laughs> um I mean my okay. team, like when I'm talking with my team, they're all about like Quit holding yourself back. Quit being afraid. Like, you got this. You've got everything you need. Connected to like, what Kate said, with your dad pulling you back and out of it, pulling you back, taking a step back so you can look at it because in here is too much. Can you kick anyone out of your mental space? Now that you're back with your dad taking a step back, kick anybody out of your mental space room that doesn't belong. Spirit, if it's in my highest good, please kick anybody that's not in my highest good out of my mental space room. Under the and floorboards. And also doesn't belong. Under the floorboards. What? Under the floorboards of the house. So, um, the whole field. The mental space field mm -hmm. that doesn't belong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. My, whole, my whole space, <laughs> the field, the house, everywhere. If it's not my highest good, kick them out. I don't think Olive likes me saying that. Is that all of them here? No, that's <laughs> Max. Oh, <laughs> Oh, they said I was seeing a person pull up the floorboards in the house. I was seeing um, bodies. So it's like um, like hiding. You know what I mean? Like, oh, they'll never find me here. The house, like, that, I was, gosh, the house that I, that I was going to buy, uh, my mom was like, what is under the porch? What do you think is under the porch? And it was um, Chris's body from, what, from a past life. And that was the Tarpon Springs thing that all of us lived in together. At different times. Your mom pointed out the underneath the porch? My mom what? was like, oh, what do you think's underneath that porch? Because the whole backyard was a porch. Oh. Like a tree growing out of the center of it. And I was like, what the fuck made you think of that? Oh. <laughs> that's, so, that's such an odd like connection. Spirit. spirit made her say it. I mean, you know, it's like. Huh. That's what, that blows my mind. It's just like, if you're aware, you will see. See everything you need to see and get past yourself. Okay. I felt like Ask I your dad. Him. Ask your dad spiritually. Say, Dad, what do you want to show me? All right, spirit, if it's in my highest good, let's go over and ask my dad, what is it he wants me to know or what he wants to show me? I'm seeing medicine jars. Behind me to the right. I don't fucking know. Um, so you got medicine jars. I got the song uh, Run by AWOL Nation where they're like, I am a human being capable of doing terrible things. Mm -hmm. I don't know that song. Uh, it was popular for a while where it was like, Run. Oh, I know yeah. that part. Okay. The TikTok okay, okay, part. I know. I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gina and I. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Run. Da, da, da. <laughs> yeah, I that's... have that song on my playlist, but I didn't recognize it. So that's the beginning of it. And it, it, whenever you saw the medicine, I don't know really what that means. Is it some kind of like self destruction thing? Does that sound right? Well, I mean, mom is like really, really on like a gazillion medicines. So oh. maybe that was him like trying to show me that she is who she is because of her. medication or just. Yeah, she medicates. We're but, both keep um, putting our hair behind our ears at the same time, too. By oh the my way. gosh, you're right. I, I didn't even know I was doing it. Are you sure you're not trying to have a hot take? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Because I mean, I use—I mean, I'll take it behind my ears like that, but I rarely go like this, like where I was like doing—I yeah. was flipping it back, and I don't hardly ever do that. Okay. Um, okay. Say, say, hey, Dad. 
that. How the hell do I break out of this fear? How the hell do I break out of this fear? Let's be Gina. Cool. Great. What does that fucking, like, how? Oh, do you need to merge with yourself? Okay, spirit, if it's in my highest good. Merge with the version of Gina doesn't have this fear. I felt good. Yeah, it made me do like the grudge thing or whatever the fuck. Or it was like, <sighs> but it was like a, it just it was a good whoosh. Like it was just like, yeah. <sighs> it was really comfortable, but it looks scary to me. You look scary right now. Yeah. Why? What version of you? Sorry. Okay, <laughs> movie. Um. I just keep getting, why don't you lick it? Like, I don't know. I don't know why I always get that, just lick it, Kate. I don't know what that spiritually means. Like, but I get it. It's like, all, all you have to do is lick it. It's like, oh, of course. So, like, you know, like, if you're, sometimes, you know, you're licking somebody, that could be like you're beating them. Like, it, you're best in them. Like, that's another way of saying. Oh, yeah, like, what the lick read? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you you need to fight them? No, I think it's no. I need to beat I need to beat my fear. I need to lick Oh. Them. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Okay. Fight the grudge girl. Fight her. <laughs> please don't I don't know what this is don't please don't don't lick me or punch me, please. I would not like it. Thanks very much. I don't come out of the TV. Swear to God. <laughs> oh, that's the ring. <laughs> oh. Whatever. Oh, whatever. So looking to keep on ticking. Yeah. yeah. Most intimidating forms. So like, like people have told me before I'm intimidating. I'm five foot one. Like I, I'm not like this big menacing kind of person, but my personality's always been loud and proud. You know, like I don't give a fuck. And then it's like you're a fucking Scorpio, Gina. Right. Okay. Yeah, but I'm, I'm not that <laughs> Scorpio cat. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Um, but yeah, and, and you being a Taurus, I mean, you get the Scorpio thing a lot. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. Yes. But from a, so I think that merging back with my, my version of me, that the Gina, the Gina that doesn't do give a fuck. Gina do it. Yeah, yeah Gina, do it with you. purpose, the whole fucking point of your name. So when you, the, I think the reason that you sent those uh, those screenshots that you did the other day, mm -hmm. one is when I first met you, whatever, years ago, we had a session or something, like a long mm -hmm. time ago, mm -hmm. and your name was I'm a Jinx. And I was like, why? I, no offense, but why would you make that your name? And then you changed it to I'm not a Jinx. Mm hmm and though it was in that screenshot that you sent mm -hmm. was I'm not a jinx. And then mm -hmm. now your name, Gina Do It With Purpose. Mm -hmm. I, can you merge with your name? Spirit, if it's in my highest good, merging with my TikTok name, Gina Do It With Purpose. I felt good too. Why do I feel like you're kind of yelling with punctuation now? Gina, do it with purpose. I'm yelling at myself. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know what this is. If it's like shame or something like that. Uh, the next part of the song says, you people are mistaken if you think that I'm awake and celebrating anything that I've become, which makes me go, is this like a guilt and shame thing? So maybe that's that whole, you know, cat. you suffer with that too, right? Like you want to do all these things, but then when somebody says, thank you, you're wonderful. And then you're like, oh, it's not me, it's you. Like you don't want to. Kate and I battle with that a lot. It. Yeah. Yeah, we're and just so, like, uh, we don't like to say thank you. We're just kind of like, you did that, but okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's that same thing I think that, yes. I could share so much that maybe somebody, because you remember, um, 
I am my highest self. I didn't get that until Kate said it. So I'm like, I don't remember what it was. But I was like, oh, yeah. I was like, why are y'all calling in yourselves? Why are you calling in your highest self? Yes. Yes. You're yes. You. yes. But <laughs> I haven't been saying this all along and it didn't click with me. And then the way you said it, I was like, oh, oh I get it. I get it. <laughs> so I feel like because I'm so analytical, like I have, like Kat tells me all the time, or she used to when we used to like meet up like all the time, but she would say, you're not going to find it on Google. You're not going to find it on Google. You've got to listen to yourself. You've got to trust yourself. And, and getting there, like I've always trusted my gut, but trying to make sense of this puzzle that's been like all in front of me, I continue to Google. I continue to try to find parts of this puzzle. And I have. Pieces I have are okay. Yeah, and I found what yeah. I needed so that I can put it in this human concept that I needed it to be in. And so I know if I can share that, that it might help somebody else so that right. they can see it how I see it. But I haven't done it yet. I mean, I've done part. You've done part of that, but why not publicly in your town? Like, how do you exist as you out there in the community like you do and not show this part of you? Like, I don't understand. Because it's like. Do it. It's all or nothing. It's all or nothing. I've done it. No, but I mean, like, how do you? Like, I don't think, like, Kate and I, I think people look at us like we're fucking nuts sometimes, but we don't, I don't think we give a shit. Um, the key, I think, is you put, in here in the put it into key. terms. I hate it. This is terrible. Why would y'all do this? It's like, they both have it. Why not? Wow, this is way better. This is so, look, guys, I'm whatever generation. Cool. How about that? Gina, yes. Like, There's something about Mary. I can make it like stand up. <laughs> <laughs> so I think what I need to do is I need to put it in words. Because I'm Gina, did you know? Because you don't see you don't see all my TikToks. I literally talked about something about Mary today in a TikTok. About what? Something about Mary? Oh, something about Mary. I thought that's what you were referencing. No, nope, she didn't see it. Oh, I was referencing the movie. She did not see the TikTok. Uh -huh. I have to go see. But from a, like, the words I need to use I, is what I think has to be held back. But I think I have it now. And like I said, in the Googling, the, the piece parts, whatever. It's it's real. I mean, it's everything that hey, we say. Did you, have a just, gut, <coughs> did you have a gut instinct growing up? What do you mean? Do, do, do I, you think, like, an intuition? Yeah, and we're showing you right from wrong, or maybe I no. I had the voices. That's the, voice. the best way to put it. As I'm getting to do this, so this is what I'm doing. I'm getting to do this, but like internally. Oh, I guess I'm here. Huh. I had no gut instinct. I didn't trust myself. People would be like, "Just trust your gut." I'm like, my gut lies all the fucking time. But that's because I saw potential, not people. And then mm -hmm. Gina, you saw people. For who they yeah, were, tried, that was your thing. Yeah, and my, oh yeah, I, my gut was never lied to me. I always trusted it. I was always like just, and Yours I was in my people. career, trusting like, you know. Yours wasn't about what? No, I'm saying, Kate, yours wasn't about people at all. Yours had like, yours had nothing about trusting people or not trusting people. You questioned people. You mm -hmm. only trusted your like, yes, team. Them. Mm -hmm. And then I didn't have what I knew as, as a connection to that. Did Gina, did you have a connection to like a higher whatever? Or was it, it was in your heart, wasn't it? Or like in your soul? It was like, I just knew, I just knew. I, did, I never understood how I knew. I just always knew. I knew when somebody was not trustworthy. I knew when somebody was, I was lying always or, or whatever. And I didn't always make the, the right choice based on what I was feeling. I, I would often... When I was younger, like go with the flow, like. But I was always the leader of the group. If we got in trouble, I was getting everybody. You know. Is this but, another thing of us that we need to like combine? Like, is this a is this a puzzle again? What are you looking at, Kate? I I don't think I had an intuition either because I'm like looking at it and I'm like those the talking like that myself to myself didn't yeah. start until I was probably about like eight 
eight to 12 ish. So no, it was literally like, uh, I wouldn't talk. I would just observe people. And then I'd be like, wow, I don't like that. Yeah, I will not do that. Uh, I don't like that. I like that. I don't like that. So it wasn't wrong or right. It was just based off of this feels good. This doesn't feel good. Yeah. So I didn't have intuition either in that way. I like, I really had to think about it. Cause I was like, oh yeah, of course I have that. No, <laughs> I didn't have, this feels good. This feels bad. This feels right. This feels wrong. Actually, lots of my like early, early, early TikToks was like, I always want to do the right thing. And I'm always about doing the right thing. And I'm not about that at all anymore. Fuck whatever anybody says right or wrong. Is this like, is this some kind of, tr it's hurting my elbow again. Spirit, if it's in the highest good, can you put um, Kate's and Gina's in my intuition, puzzle solving, listening to the guides, whatever this is, uh, connected to each other or not, back in the balanced divine working order? Yeah, Boston, usually the people in the live were like, y'all come along and somehow it's like y'all experience it, like we all experience the same thing. It's very it's spirit so led. Weird. Yeah. It's just like, oh, I made it tonight. It's like, well, I bet you're probably part of it. Uh, but yeah, mine was an intuition. It was all based on my observations, which is why a lot of my shit's black and white. Which is like, oh, that's a lie. It's like, sometimes lies are not lies, Kate. Sometimes lies are complex. And it's like, nope, I remember observing that lie. That was not true. Mine <laughs> so was based me. off of everybody else's reactions to whatever was happening. That person feels uncomfortable. That person looks like they're happy about this. This person is mad. This person is making that person mad. That's how mine developed. What about you, Nina? Um, well, like I said, like it's always been just the knowing. Like... I could read a person, like my friends, like I, I was like the, the, the advice guru, you know, what do you think about him? What do you think about her? Like they were constantly like asking me that and I'd be like, stay away. That's mm. no good. I've always been like, just do whatever you like. Don't, I'm not going to tell you yes or no. Um, <laughs> here you go. Just go and have a blast. And then oh, yeah. when you fall on your face, come to me, I'll help pick you up and we'll do outside. it all again. I was the outside. like, so help me if you go if you go and like go out with him or whatever and he breaks your heart, don't you even come crying to me. I warned you. I hate saying I told you so. No, I don't. I told you so. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still that way. I really am. I, I have opinions. That's what I called them was opinions. I have opinions. Sometimes you don't have to ask me for them. But I, now I know what that opinion was. It was really my gut instinct. It was me trusting my what I knew. I just knew. And now I know it was me. It was me telling me, like, it's, it's me. Spirit, if it's in the highest good, please allow me access to, please allow younger me to have access to Gina's gut instinct, conducive to what I need back then, and Kate's black and white discernment, conducive to what I need back then. Yeah, it's like just a having it. I just decided to take it. Hey guys. It's just it like it hit you with a sticker. Like it made the sticker sound where it's like oh, whatever like that a, means. Like a patch. Oh, okay. Like a tobacco patch or whatever. So it'll like come in slowly and it won't be like a brain melting, I guess? Because you know me, I'll probably melt my fucking brain. I'm like, give it all to me. And it's like, why is everything on fire? <laughs> <laughs> um, why am I eating my arm? Do you know how many times, literally, I'll ask Kate to help me with something. She's like, well, you could turn all the octaves down. And I'll be like, no, never mind. So if it's nice, you please give that version of cat uh, the brain aneurysm healing. Hey. I'm getting the SOS song again. Is it for Cat? Oh, that feels so weird in my chest and my. Spirits Mask can please activate all of the blowout healings to that version of Cat. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Are you hearing voices, Kat? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought you were like. Is it your own team? No, now? it's you guys. Hey, Kat, we're going to be singing. I can't hear that. Cool. <laughs> Where are you guys? <laughs> Oh, yeah, y'all needed another connection for sure. <laughs> What'd you say, Gina? I like, my, so, like y'all needed another connection. But it's you too, Gina. You were talking too. Gina, I could feel the inside of me for the first time. I'm just like, <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> ring, ring. Hello, this is Kat. <laughs> <laughs> Kate's been doing this lately. No, ring, ring. <laughs> Yeah, I've been doing that instead of this. Hey guys. <laughs> can you hear me? I can hear you. Hi. You're gonna call I'm... me that shit crazy like way younger. It'll be fine. Oh, awesome. Woo. You know how like you know some people have like super cool handshakes when they're in person. It's just over the last year. It's just this and then this. Come on, do it, Kate. Do it, Kate. Do it. It's for you. <laughs> what do you mean, Haley? Is cat sick or is is it that an energy thing? Oh, my cough? It's 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 an energy thing. It's actually been since I started dating Ben. Uh, so yeah, it's a new thing I have. I'm so excited about it. Had it for about a year. Excuse me, Ben. Okay. Yeah. He's not on the line. He's not oh. allowed. <laughs> she just hung up on him. <laughs> You're not, no boys allowed. Sorry, I, got phones. I got two phones. <laughs> I got two phones. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Dang it, Dana, in the comments. No, Ben. <laughs> I thought so. It gave me like a truth telling or like a warning vibe. I would love to know what it is. I don't fucking know. I haven't, like, explored it, I guess. Gina, how do you feel? I'm the only one who copied and pasted your guys' stuff to younger me. I'm like, yeah, that sounds great. You guys are like, cool, we're here to help you, cat. <laughs> no one wants what I have? <laughs> Fuck. I, don't want I thought you said you didn't you have, have to. I thought you said you didn't have intuition when you were younger. Are you talking about you exactly. now? No, I copied and pasted Gina's intuition, downloaded into me at my younger age, and I copied your black and white discernment to me at a younger age. Wouldn't that give me feeling? Ooh. Okay, you don't have to. It's fine. No, it's fine. It's fine. Please don't be uncomfortable. It's okay. I'll just find you guys later when you're more open to it. You don't have to do it when you're younger. It's fine. That's called guilt tripping. It's fine. <laughs> just don't. I don't feel guilt. I mean, I have some of the black and white thing already. I like to stick things in boxes and put them up on the shelf and not address them. But I'm getting better at opening those boxes. So it give me feelings? Uh, yes. Yeah, would it give me feelings? And it's like, no, because it has a hand. It's like, absolutely not. Okay. It'll just push them away. Then why would I do it? Don't. I don't think you're supposed to. Beard is in my highest good at that point in time. He's copy paste. The cat uh, feeling intuition to me at the time. They gave me a cape? Yeah. What does Captain that obvious. do? Captain it's Obvious. It's like a Madam Superman, uh, Captain Obvious, and then the Superman cape. And like, uh, you don't want it, I'm going to let you know, because it's like, it's the people pleaser thing that you already have. It's just cat style. People pleaser when you were that age. If it's, if it's in my eyes, good, and it, I don't need it, please undo it. It kept it. So maybe there needs to be like a level uh, for sanity. Because that was pretty I know, robotic. I, was just, I just jumped into action every chance I got to the point where, like, when I was in the working at Pier 1 and someone had a headache, I'd be like, I have ibuprofen at home. 
Yeah, but wouldn't that make me, like, at some level, like, a better human? Instead of being so robotic? I don't, I don't like the way that you phrased that. I know me you either. meant, like, uh, more human than a robot, but better, that word better sounds gross. Oh, um, more empathetic sounding, even though I was empathetic, I just couldn't show it. Oh, like tone? E- yeah, oh, okay. Oh, that's the part. It's just tone, um, maybe it's just tone reception. And then, and then what am I gonna do? They're yelling at me. Yeah, <laughs> you're still gonna be Kate. <laughs> I'm just not gonna do anything about it. Oh, they're yelling. Cool. Oh, okay. Yes, I like it. I will keep. Thanks. Um, and then Gina, you had your what gut intuition you were saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, Spirit of it's not good, please. I would paste Gina's gut intuition to me at that age. And please undo it if I don't need it. Okay, it's still there. Yep. Cool. I kind of feel like you don't, like you understand humans more now at a young age, but you don't really like them very much. But I know that you like them, so. Um, well, I would never get treated very great. Nobody knew anything about what was going on with me so it's like i would try it just gave you a little bit of like um instead of just not caring and being like okay did it give you like a a a little bit of standing up for yourself at a younger age i don't know if i actually cared no i did okay i would talk back yes Yay! Okay, cool. Like, don't sass me. I don't know what that means. Rips in the high school, please. Uh, activate the ripple healings for this. Make it conducive to what I need. Okay, so Gina, at your young age, I think it would benefit you to not care as much, because that's the thing that's yes. bothering you now. Yes. So not care as much. That would be Kate's. Yep. Spirit of it's at the highest good. Please allow me, or copy and paste Kate black and white discernment. Is that mm-hmm. right? Yes. <clears throat> to my younger version of me. And if it's in my highest good and I don't need it, take it back. Make it uh, more conducive to what you need. Please. Make it more conducive to what I need. Like, cut a piece out. I don't know what that means. Oh, it's like a mold. For Gina. (laughs) And ripple the healing into all versions. Um, I guess mine for you, Gina, would be to see um, the pathways, the Rubik's Cube, a little bit more effortlessly. Then you said Rubik's Cube. I saw a video on how to solve one. I'm 52 I freaking years one. old, and I never knew how to solve one until that video. Oh. I memorized right, the like, pattern. Yeah, it is a pattern. I didn't know it was a pattern. So, um, I need the, uh, um, here, if it's in my highest good, copy and paste the part of cat um, gut feelings. Mm-mm. It's uh, empathy. It's um, spatial mm, spatial pathway awareness is what you need. Okay, copy and paste. That's empathy, spatial awareness, pathway younger, awareness, or pathway awareness. My younger version that's conducive to me. I mean, I just got, like, light. Like. Mm-hmm. Oh, like lighting up pathways. 
It's too easy for me to do the puzzles and pathways and organize the stuff that I could be on my phone all day organizing, going to Pinterest, going to TikTok, doing the things, make another video. Hello, all the fucking time. I'm constant and I don't like get tired. And then like screenshot it and then crop it and then put it over here and then put it in this folder and this folder and this folder. This goes here and here and here and here. Yeah, I'll use the hell out of that. My phone is at five percent. Oh, I think Kat's trying to tell us something. Um, I'm done. <laughs> Just kidding. I think okay. that'll work, Gina, and I think that that benefits me too. I'm happy about it. It always does. It always does. Like we always like. Yeah. Back you would think we do it more often. Gross. You know, <laughs> we've been together for a time. Fucking, I don't know. Gina's like, I tried, bitch. No, no, that's not what I did. She would say that. Um, she would say that. Um, yeah, she wouldn't say that. Thank you um, guys for walking me through this. And thanks for coming on. It was so odd. And thanks to your dad, too, because he's like, stop. Anyway. <laughs> he's like, get it yeah, together. That's, right. that's my dad. Yes. <laughs> that was cool. All right. Yeah. Everybody Bye. disconnect.
To book a dual session with Kate and Kat, visit either of our websites listed in the description of this video. For a spirit guide reading, you can book with Captain Kate at www.captainkate.com. For a one-on-one -on -one trauma healing session with Cat and Boots, you can visit www.catandboots138.com.